Every year for the last 20 years, Fish and Game has been releasing steelhead into the Boise River. Steelhead, much larger than the most fish anglers catch on the Boise. But as Steve Leventhal shows us in tonight's Idaho Backroads report, they can be challenging to land. It's a November tradition on the Boise River, and despite low numbers this year, Fish and Game has enough surplus hatchery steelhead from Hell's Canyon to release it to the Boise River. Straighten her out, John. We're going to lose it up here. At the drop site behind BSU, that requires a long tube and a group effort. You might think being taken from one river, trucked to another, and sent through a ride like this would make the fish confused or wary. But within minutes, anglers who patiently waited are hooking steelhead. We're going to go fishing. I hope we got a steelhead. Carrie Alladia knows there will be big crowds when the big fish are in the river. Some people like they 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 don't fish, but they come and fish because it's steelhead. It's like a excuse to go in the river. Until the late 50s, steelhead and salmon returned naturally from the Pacific Ocean to the Weezer, Payette, and Boise rivers. But the construction of three dams in Hell's Canyon completely blocked their migration. To help make up for that, Idaho Power trucks fish in to dump in the Boise River to give anglers at least a small glimpse of what fishing here used to look like. The steelhead is very, uh, very tough like to get them out, take a while, you know. If you if you not pay attention, they they broke the line. They just go. And if you try to land one with light equipment intended for smaller fish, you might even break your rod. Exactly what happened to this angler? The complication forcing him to jump into the river with the fish to get it out. Aladia says there's generally no reason to panic if you hook a steelhead because there are almost always other anglers who are more than happy to help. Some people have a net just to help out. We help each other here. Nice people too. Steelhead fishing on the Salmon, Clearwater and Snake Rivers in Idaho will close after December 7th because Idaho does not have a permit for incidental take of federally protected wild steelhead. But because wild fish no longer return to the Boise River, the closure does not apply here. Steve